and girls, it's me Francesca and I'm here for our hour. Today we are going to make an acorn swirl, kind of like an abstract acorn swirl. And um, what you have to do is you have to go and collect a whole bunch of acorns, if you can. Go find a big old oak tree and underneath there will be a whole bunch of them. You're going to want to get out there and get them before all the turkeys get them. Um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to dump out your acorns and then we'll, how we're going to start is you're going to take one of the acorns, the one of the acorns that has a cap, and we're going to put it down right here. It's going to be sideways, right in the middle of your spot where you're going to make your acorn swirl. I found this wood. I'm in a playground. I thought this was a perfect spot to put all my acorns and my swirl because it will hold them up. It will look good, a lot, a lot better than doing it on um, gravel or anything, of course. Okay, so what you're going to need is when you go to collect your acorns, you're going to find a whole bunch of them are going to have this little flat surface, which is perfect to make your acorn swell. And what you're going to start is you have the one that has the cap in the middle. You're going to take your second one and you're going to put it like to the right of the middle one, the middle acorn that's the beginning of your acorn swirl. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to start making a swirl around that main acorn. Just like that. Okay, good. You guys can see what I'm doing. You want to keep them pretty separated, the acorns, from each other. And you also want to keep a nice space whenever you go, each time you go around the lines between your acorns of your swirl. Like about an inch would be good to keep a space between them. Okay, so you're just gonna go around that main, main acorn. Like I said, we're gonna do a swirl. It's very important to keep that separation from each of them because it took me a couple of times to make the acorn swirl because first time it was like it looked like a whole bunch of acorns just together so it's important to have the space so the swirl can develop you can see that well you can't really see that in the video just yet but when I show you you'll see that it's a swirl <laughs> okay so you just keep on going around remember like I just said to keep that space between them um, I also made a really cool peace sign out of the acorns and a heart. So I thought that'd be kind of fun to make too. Maybe you can make that before you do your acorn swirl. So you can kind of warm up to making your acorn swirl. You might take a couple of times, a couple of tries until you get it right. But it's a lot of fun to make. And once you see your finished product, it's pretty awesome. I had lots of fun going around collecting these acorns. Well, I just went under one tree and collected a whole bunch, but it was awesome. They're all really cool looking. I mean, they all look alike, but they're pretty awesome. Not like I'm going to look further than that. Okay, also, I was thinking for the future, maybe one of our next art hours, um, we could somehow color these acorns and then do an acorn swirl and a peace sign. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, I'm almost done here. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a minute. And in the comments below, like I said, I'm going to have the peace sign and the heart made out of acorns and another acorn swirl that you will see in the comments below. Just a few more. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Lots of fun to make. And like I said, I'm going to show you in the comments below the other ones that I made. And I really hope you enjoy doing this and having fun collecting them. And hopefully the next art hour we'll be doing this with different color acorns. That would be pretty cool. All right. Peace. Have a great day. Bye.